Hey guys, what's up? This is Cycle, and this is episode two of Magi Nation, or Let's Play Imagination, or whatever we call it. So this is the overworld, and we got lots of different places we can go. Um, this is the part where we landed, and uh, we're gonna explore over there later. But I happen to know that the glade is over here. So if we want to do a random encounter, it's not just completely random. These little sparks pop up, and we walk into it. We get into an encounter. And we don't know what it is. You can see there's one enemy. So we're going to summon our Furok. And it's a Twee. Looks like a Rapunzel. So we're going to just focus and I'm just going to fight. Just conserve our energy as much as possible so we have enough for the next uh, combat. Is the idea. Um, and the way it works, uh, as it was explained at the end of the last episode, is... I kill guys in the wild. I get two energy. Okay, wait, that's just combat. So I get Twee Animite. And that means now, if I take a look at my list of Animite, I have one Twee. And that means that if I have enough Twees, I can go visit Pruitt, who is the ringsmith in town, and she will create a Twee for me on a ring. And then that means that I can now use Twee as part of my, um, my thing. What does Eldritch All do? Okay. Eldritch All returns me to town it just takes me it's like an escape rope that's permanent um Orwin, where are you um because this game is like pokemon there is some training that we can do we can like uh get experience and stuff i lost track of Orwin. did you see where he went like we can train and we can make our guys stronger um i'm just, i'm sure Orwin went, went this way i hope he's all right can't get to that chest yet, I guess. Let's do a little bit of training. We're going to fight one more guy. Summon the Furok. It's a Weebo. Uh, I had the guidebook for this game. Like a, a, a paper guidebook. From, uh... What's the company? I don't remember the company that makes guidebooks. And, uh... It had like a lot of the tips and stuff and showed what uh, when all the, the, the dream creatures learned their attacks, like at what levels and stuff. And Weebo is the kind of thing where it's a weak uh, grass kind of type uh, Vashna room, which is grass um, themed and nature themed. It was very weak until like level 90, then it learned an attack called Wreck and it did like ridiculous da AoE damage to everything. Um, but. Alas, I am not going to be really grinding in this game if I don't have to. Um, unless I want to be, like, hunting for the Animite for uh, the right guys. I'm just really curious. I fought three guys. I want to see how much experience he has. He has 84 experience in this zone. Um, when I played this game, I wasn't... I was, like, I was 100% casual. Like, right? I was, like, 12 or something. And uh, I didn't think about, like, optimizing stuff. I just played the game for fun. And it was really cool, um, but this time around, I just want to take take a little bit of a, a, a more analytical look and take a look at uh, what do I enjoy about it um, and stuff like that. How how can I efficiently farm and make sure it's not like quick? I'm one shotting all these guys. I'm assuming it's like a level one zone. Furok is now level four. Energy is twenty four. Strength is twelve. It doesn't tell me what it was previously, but uh, I leveled up. And Tony has ninety five experience. We'll just do one more thing to level up. Because now we get some combat instead of just straight story for half an hour. Um, pretty much always want to summon in the beginning. And I'm going to focus, and he's going to fight. We will fight Spherok. Oh, this animation scene this is so, it's so simple, right? It's very simple. Fights doesn't even have an animation. Weebo found Tony is now level two. Energy is 110. That is huge. I had I just gained 10% of my energy by leveling up. I'm probably 10 every level. Be careful in there. It's dangerous. We have a taste for fighting. Uh, I have 110 energy. Again, last time I used um, a uh, a malfunction in the uh, or a, an overlooks on the game developer site. So part. So I have a lot of things. Look at this. This is beautiful. 
We're gonna do a quick save. I'm doing real saves, by the way. We're not doing any uh, save saves. For any of this. What the? It looks like a shadow geyser. Oh no, this was too foretold in the prophecy. I've got to stop it. Oh, I feel like a million sharp needles just pierced my hide. Korg, look. Lauren's in trouble. Now's our chance to get him out of the picture. Shut up, Zed. I'm in charge, and I say we go waste Orman. Let's go! Okay, let's get him on three. One... Three! Huh? Where'd you go, Zed? Hey, Zed! Wake up! Huh? It's that kid from before. Ha! Huh, now I can mess you up for what you did to me back at the river. Magi battle, right in the beginning. We leveled up though, we got this. Summon up our Furok. Can I put him anywhere? Yeah, I can. There might be a, a reason to put him in different places. Korg, you're still too weak from fighting. Mean, Korg, you're still too weak from fighting Orin. Let me handle him. Furok was summoned. I'm just gonna focus. Oh yeah, he had to waste a turn just now. Now again, energy is life at the same time, so everything is blood magic, pretty much. Shut up, Zed. I'm in charge, and I'll handle this. Oh, uh, Zed, I don't have enough energy for my Grax. I love the names of creatures, too. Court focuses. Our court focuses. Alright, let's scratch him. Six damage. Focus again. Scratch him again. Looks like, uh, dream creatures also do not get, uh... Black Agovo. Oh my god. We're gonna try out our spell. We're gonna try out our leaf cut. It looks like we can only cre target dream creatures with it. We're going to fight the dream creature as well. focuses. Speed must be, you know, high speed goes to, to go first. Fyrk is weak against the attack. Fyrk fights Black Agobo. Fyrk missed. We're going to use another Leaf Cut. And I only have 4 energy, so I have to fight. Yeah, high speed must just go first. Not eliminated yet. I'm probably gonna lose my uh, guy. Damage is unidirectional. So now I have to spend my turn summoning Furok. But because the Furok wasn't there, he could fight me directly. Pretty cool. Awesome. I get it. Focus. And probably just gonna fight. Because there's only one resource pool, energy, you kind of have to think about everything, I guess. Uh, like on all of your actions. I don't get experience until the fight is over either. Black and Gobo Adamite. And I won. Both of those things are good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. We're out of here, Zet. Orwin, what? I used my hood of hiding to save myself. The geyser must be stopped. You're delirious. Hold still. He's in bad shape. Eden, the geyser. You want me to try and stop it? No, you fool. Oh, don't try to enter, or you'll end up like me. That means, that means the... Tony, come here. Take this. Tony got the energy band. There's some sweet music to go with it. This will let you pass through the forest. Go see Gia in the weave. 
I'm going to take Orin back to Vashna room. Right now, seeing Gia would be your best bet. That energy band will let you pass those blocks to the west of Vashna room. Is he going to be okay? I hope so. You better get going. It's a pretty long walk to the weave. So, of course, the first thing that I'm going to do when I have control is try to go in. Ouch! I wonder if, it takes, if I take damage. 85. Nah. Uh, and you can see underneath my picture now I have the energy band. Now what this does is right away it allows you to do something. Oh, I don't know. See, see, I have 36 experience and my Furok has 46. Pretty cool. Um, I think this game is well designed. Right away I can kick that aside. I got a Golden Clover, which we're going to equip right away to our Furok. And you can see it gives 15 luck. I don't, I, I don't know what all these things do. I don't. But he's slow. Let's see what's down here. It's one big circle. I'm not going to explore too thoroughly. You know where the path is because the path is here. What did this guy say? I've been told to let you pass, so quit talking to me and go. Okay. Take a quick save. And, uh... We actually... I want to go really quickly to the inn and heal myself. And also uh, talk to Pruitt, because I want to show about the um, what it takes, because we've got some Twee animite. You there! Stop! What have you done to Orwin? Huh? He's grown terribly sick since returning to the Glade, and now Aiden's nowhere to be found! I didn't know. Well, you had better go see Orin soon. I hear he's fading fast. Okay, we're gonna go check him out first. Just a quick talk. I just, I just want to. It's so peaceful out here. Oh yeah, she doesn't even care about Orwin. Uh, first up, I want to go see Pruitt. Orwin was always so kind to me. Can you go find the seer and ask his help? The seer? Okay. Equip. Oh. So, okay, I guess you can only equip... That must be it. You can only equip the ten rings to choose from. Let's try to power. Or to forge. Alright, so there you go. You can see what kind of... Um, uh, you can see what kind of uh, dream creatures each smith can have. I'm going to say right now... Every town has different smiths. So this one has Weebos, Twees. If I wanted a Twee, I need I need one more Twee Anamite. Like, I have to go kill one. And I have to pay 15 of the Currency Anamite. Um, currency is literally never going to be a problem. Because we have infinite. Essentially. It's all about uh, how much can we farm to get a certain monster. And then we start leveling it up. It's that simple. Um, we get to see a lot of these in the wild. Uh, Hyrens are the best ones. They're all like... Uh, they're like the dragons, pretty much, and that's what we're going to try to get um, later. But that's how that works. We're going to try to we're going to try to pimp our, our team. I don't know what power does. To power up Furok, I need three Furok and twenty other ones. I guess you can uh, force level if you you can like farm levels for your guys. That's really really cool. I never thought about it that way. But I wonder if you can find uh, like if something's easy to farm, you can just like power level with money. This is not where I wanted to go. Alright, well, I, I, I do want to heal, but since we're already up here, we're going to go and visit Orwin. Make sure he's alright. He's not. And we're going to, uh, see about that. No one in Vash can cure Orwin. Who can we turn to for help? You must find Gia. Okay. Can I go in the store now? No. Orwin's celestial thing. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought about it, but with that power mechanic on the ringsmith, we might be able to just, if we find a guy, farm a bunch, get a billion levels, and steam through stuff, but I never used it once um, when I played this game before.
Oh, he needs help. Maybe the seer on the lake knows of a way to cure him. Would you like to record your journey and recover lost energy? Yes. Good night. So this is also a save, a game save. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. I'm behind the inn. I can kick that too. Where am I? Oh, I get chills in places like this because I don't... Okay, I know I've done this before. Like, I've played this game before. Um, But look at this design. Like, what is all this stuff? Why are there tubes? I cannot interact with them. I can't do anything. I can't kick these blocks because they're all... Organized in a certain way. It feels kind of like it's uh, unfinished, right? Like there is supposed to be something there. Ooh. Let's equip that and see what that does. So currently, yeah, we're just going to see what that does. Five strength. I'm going to go with strength and skill. Ugh. Oh. Chills. I just, I don't, I don't know how to get there. By the way, if anybody who watches this um, has any like insight into this, into this game or some of the secrets, uh, please tell me. Like, I'd love to explore it, see what's up, because I only know some, some of the tidbits on it. Um. Anyways, cool. Uh, I believe that's everything that I wanted to do. In town so we're gonna move on and we're gonna go try to find out where this weave is and move forward I just thought this game was like super creative and did a lot of things that uh, standard games don't so first we're gonna go up here and one of the things I really like to do this game like I don't know Pokemon I guess does this too but it encourages me to uh, combat I want to fight I want to see how strong the things are. I want to see if there's a creature that I want, a dream creature. Um, and to kind of farm, right? You kill them a bunch of times, you farm them, and you get your, uh, it's a rude wad. You get a feel out how strong they are. I'm just going to, excuse me. We're going to try to fight every, uh, ten damage. I can if I scratch I get I can't scratch on the back right if it does 10 damage to me and I have four left it just turns into a fight but I think I did enough damage to him that he can't cast his scratch all right I kill him two hits after he did thing um, another thing that's really cool about the energy returning thing you see I have 104 now um, there's no health for my monsters after they um, like they die like there's no reason need to go to a pokemon center all the energy is stored with me every time i summon furok i get uh it's at 24 energy so i'm just gonna go ahead and focus and i don't know what this thing is but i want to scratch this you can see the new sparkly things are more monsters appearing so uh got a butterfly thing a lot of my my motivation on whether or not i want a guy i mean there's is it a strong guy but it's also um does it look cool? Like, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you can beat the game with, uh, anything. So, just gotta go for them style points. Alright, eliminate in two fights. Or, I guess that was a scratch in a fight. I'm not sure what the, uh, what the, uh, the reasoning behind the, the stuff left. The, uh, energy gotten... On the res um, I'm not saying this well at all. I'm not sure why I receive energy for the defeat. Like if it's a lot or, or something. So Leaf Cut does 5 damage. I was just curious. I 
I don't know, I love the music. Furok fight auto kills, guys. Um, my goal with uh, my goal with uh, every fight, other than you know win, is to have as much energy left over for the next fight. Getting that Weevil Animite. I could make one now if I wanted to, but okay, it's about the same level as I was. Okay, there's no one here. I can't open the chest. Intruder alert! Oh, that's cool. You... What? What are you doing here? I was just... Never mind! Oh, it knocked something over. Nah, I'll fix, fix it later. I already know what you are here for. You do? Yes! I am the all-knowing, all-powerful wizard, and am I not? You are? Yes. Oh. You mean you haven't heard of me? No. I am the Omniscient Enchanter. Impressive. Can't say it rings a bell, though. The Magnificent Magnician. Magician. Haven't heard of him. What about the Clairvoyant Conjurer? Nope. The... Uh... The Super Sorcerer? No. Listen, I came here to find the Seer. Have you seen him recently? The seer? You came all the way here just to talk to the seer? Yes. Is he around? Hello? What? Oh, sorry. I mean, doesn't the title seer seem a little unimpressive to you? Don't you think people would respect the Grand Guru or the stupendous spellcaster more than some plain... Oh, for crying out loud, is the seer around here or isn't he? Well, yes. Hey, what... what are you... what are you doing? I'm the seer. What did you come to me? Orin is sick, and the people of Ashen Room said you could help him. They did? Uh, I mean, Orin is sick? Yes. Wow, uh, let's go see him then. Alright, they just teleport me back here. That's nice. Orin is sick. Uh, yeah. I think that his injuries are more than just physical. He has burns on his hands and face, but they are not severe enough to weaken him this significantly. I think he is poisoned. Poisoned? You need to find something to neutralize the geyser's effect. I can think of only one item sufficiently powerful to cure Orin's ailments. What is it? It is an extremely rare and powerful. Or it is extremely rare. Yes, but what is it? It must be specially prepared into an elixir to cure Orin. Okay! What is it? It can't be found in the stores. Uh, what is it called? Oh, a cloud front. Thanks. I will make the cloud frond elixir if you can get one. Where can I find a cloud frond? Hmm, I must meditate on the subject. Why don't you see if you can find one on your own and check back with me if you need advice? Sure. If you need me, I will be back at my boathouse meditating. Well, don't strain yourself. Pumpkin melty. Gah! Oh, okay. Well, they kicked me all the way back here. Um, we could make a Weebo, but I kind of don't want to. Well, it might be better than uh, than healing all the time. I just want to take a quick, quick look and see what some of this stuff does. Hi, Tony. So, what kind of ring should I make? So, we're going to make a Weebo. the ring so hard whole house shakes one reboot ready to go do I have to equip it right away auto equipped so it's level one if I power it I need one more Weebo to power it bear with me I really 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 want to try this maybe we'll try it back later you know what let's uh let's do this the the way that makes sense where uh if um if we end up having enough Animite to power a guy, and we're also in town, then we'll do it. Because I don't want to, like, do it for nothing. So down here, you can see on the overworld, if there's no random encounters on the overworld, uh, you can kind of walk places, but not much I can do here. don't remember all this... 
Up there was the boathouse. Um, sometimes there's little hidden secret things you can go in. You see how you, you can go behind the, the pixels and stuff. But this is where we need to go. Oh, real quick, I want to save. I want to continuously save. Alright, well, we got a Weebo. Um, oops. We give him Golden Clover. And he has the ability to heal. Alright, we got a Kiki puzzle. I did it. I remember there's something. Isn't there something here? Yeah. Water of Life. Rune of Might. So, check this out. Um, all these these things are, are... Oops. Oh, go, the Golden Clover is the only one I have. What do these items do? Tony's Energy Max was raised by 5. Okay, Water of Life is an amazing item. Whatever those are, we want those all the time. Uh, Rune of Might... Just want to see what it does. Okay. Can't interact with this wall either, but maybe I will eventually. Oh god, chills. Chills. I love this game. We're just going to explore everything. I'm going to see if I can remember whatever I can. Let's fight some guys. Um, the pace in this game, I don't know how fast we're going to really be moving, but, um, he was only five. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to try to just keep, keep doing stuff and make, make sure it's kind of entertaining. No wonder Weebos get, like, one shot all the time. I think as long as they participate in the fight, they get experience, so I'm just going to focus. I'm not going to bother. Um... Summoning him every time. If I get in eight energy by focusing. If you finish combat before all the summoned creatures appear, oh, you level up. Check this up. Everything is up. No new skills. I actually like really want to explore absolutely everywhere. Oh, maximum Balu saps. This is a big circle. You can see this game like you can go anywhere. Like it's not just like you're not bound to exact pixels. I also love that the encounters are similar. Oh, the house. I remember there being something here. I just don't remember everything about it. Let's talk to this cat. Yeah, I put the meow in the bottom right corner. Normal things. Can't exactly get to that door. Lit fireplace, I suppose. Gym in the room. So that's a ring thing. Let's see. Let's see what it does on our Weibo. Defense. Why not? I don't know what skill does. Don't know anything about this house either, so we're just gonna leave. This looks like I should interact with it, right? Like I should like kick it aside. Can't. Balu leaf. So I guess Balu leaves are like po potions. I was gonna say poisons. Um, I just wanted to see if there's anything up here. No. You guys are like, oh, but you already checked it. Um, it's hard to uh, kind of see the scope of the screen. It's kind of, I wish, like, I could see more than I do. But, you know, Game Boy Color. You know how it is. Ravage for, oh, I just, Ravage sounds like it's a, a luck thing. Yeah, it gives 10 luck. Let me stick with a leaf. Don't know what luck does. 
Um, yeah, I love that it's not no random encounters. You could you can choose. Like I chose to do that. I did it. On, I did it on purpose. Bring your Furok into the battle. Our ball. Our balls are cool. I'm gonna summon Weebo just for the experience. Look at that guy, he's like a little ball of leaf. He took 7 damage. Oh, I think he used leaf cut, like that's my move. Um, I remember that there are patterns, like when you see a- oh, we get to see you. Yeah, yeah, never mind. I wanted to see if we get, uh, we max out our, our energy on level up. Um, I really love, uh... No, I was gonna say about what I really love, but I do like a lot of things about this game. The um, there are some patterns that I remember occurring. Whenever you uh, see like an R ball, you're like, "Oh, I know what the next two dream creatures are gonna be." I'm not really interested in uh, in completely experimenting them all right now. But by the way, this uh, this path that we're taking right here, when I was young, it just I remembered it taking. Like hours. I'll listen to that music. All right, I left it too soon. Go ahead and save. Um, so for now, this is going to be our episode, episode two. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know if you like this series, and I'm going to keep doing that. Um, cool. All right. Well, this is cycle. See you guys next time.